Telly Savalas, a remarkable performer in Hollywood, captivated audiences with his versatility. However, it was his portrayal of a gritty detective in the 1970s television series, Kojak, that truly defined him. Born on January 21, 1922, in Garden City, New York, Telly Savalas hailed from a family of Greek immigrants. To support their household, Savalas and his brother, Gus, worked diligently, selling newspapers and shining shoes. His mother, Christina Capsalis Savalas, expressed her creativity as an artist in the bustling streets of New York City. Meanwhile, his father, Nick Savalas, started as a laborer in various jobs before venturing into business, specifically the tobacco industry, restaurant supplies, and general contracting. Eventually, he became a successful restaurateur, establishing a chain of Greek restaurants. In 1941, driven by a sense of duty, Telly Savalas joined the army and valiantly served his country during World War II. His unwavering commitment to the cause resulted in a Purple Heart disability discharge. Following his military service, Savalas pursued further education at the Armed Forces Institute. Here, he delved into the intricacies of radio and television production, honing his skills in these creative mediums. Subsequently, he sought knowledge at Columbia University, where his studies expanded into the realm of psychology, capturing his intellectual curiosity. In the early 1950s, Telly Savalas found himself immersed in the world of broadcasting. He lent his talents to American Broadcasting Company Radio and even became involved with the prestigious Voice of America. Remarkably, he ascended to the position of executive producer, overseeing his own highly popular talk show, Telly's Coffee House. Such excellence in his craft earned him the esteemed Peabody Award. It was during the year 1959 that fate intervened in Savalas' life. Attending an audition for the Columbia Broadcasting System Anthology series, Armstrong Circle Theater, his original intention was to support a friend vying for a role. However, destiny had other plans. The astute casting director recognized the captivating aura of menace that Savalas exuded and decided to cast him in a character part. This opportunity became a stepping stone to further engagements in television and film, as his talent garnered attention and opened doors. A notable performance in the production Matter of Conviction caught the discerning eye of actor Burt Lancaster. Impressed by Savalas' abilities, Lancaster chose him to be a part of the cast in Birdman of Alcatraz, 1962. This particular role earned Savalas a nomination for the esteemed Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, cementing his reputation in the industry. With his distinct bald head, he became known for portraying sinister characters, often embodying sadistic or psychologically unhinged individuals. In the year 1973, Telly Savalas secured a pivotal role that would define his career. He stepped into the shoes of the tough-talking detective Theo Kojak, bringing the character to life in the television movie titled The Marcus Nelson Murders. The unwavering integrity of his character, coupled with his trademark habit of enjoying lollipops, struck a chord with audiences, leading to the creation of a spin-off series. From 1973 to 1978, the Kojak series captivated viewers on Columbia Broadcasting System. This groundbreaking show propelled Savalas to iconic status, embodying the spirit of the vibrant and indulgent 1970s. His influence extended to his personal life as well, as he leveraged his newfound prominence to cast his brother George in the role of Detective Stavros. Even today, the immortal catchphrase of Kojak, Who Loves Ya Baby?, resonates across the globe, becoming a cultural phenomenon. Savalas' remarkable portrayal garnered him accolades, including an Emmy Award and two Golden Globes, cementing his legacy in the industry. Following the conclusion of Kojak, Savalas embarked on a globe-trodden journey, exploring various film projects in Europe. Although some of these ventures may have faded from memory, he embraced a lavish and self-indulgent lifestyle. While he sporadically reprised the role of Kojak in a few television movies during the 1980s, it was his involvement as a spokesperson for a credit card that brought him significant visibility. Beyond the small screen, Savalas continued to contribute to television and film, often taking on supporting roles. 
His impressive filmography boasted an impressive 56 films, with 21 of them showcasing his undeniable talent as a villain. Telly Savalas experienced three significant chapters in his married life. His first marriage took place in 1948, when he exchanged vows with Catherine Nicolades, his college sweetheart. The couple welcomed their daughter, Christina, in 1950. However, their union came to an end with a divorce in 1957. In 1960, Savalas found love once again and tied the knot with Marilyn Gardner, a theater instructor. Their relationship blossomed, resulting in the birth of two daughters, Penelope and Candace. However, after a period of separation, they ultimately divorced in 1974. During the year 1969, Savalas embarked on a romantic journey with actress Sally Adams. Although they did not formalize their relationship through marriage, she adopted the name Sally Savalas. Their love brought forth the arrival of their son, Nicholas, in 1973. However, their relationship concluded in 1978. In 1980, Sally filed a lawsuit seeking financial support from Telly Savalas. Finally, in 1984, Savalas found lasting love and companionship with travel agent Julie Hovland. They entered into marriage, and together they shared the joy of raising two children, a son named Christian and a daughter named Ariana. Their bond remained unbroken until the end of Telly Savalas' life. Beyond his illustrious acting career, Telly Savalas ventured into other domains and achieved notable success. He explored the realm of music with a spoken word rendition of the song If, originally performed by the pop group Bread. This captivating recording ascended to the pinnacle of the pop charts in the United Kingdom, claiming the coveted number one spot in 1975. Savalas' talents extended beyond the entertainment industry. He exhibited remarkable skill as a world-class poker player, displaying strategic prowess at the card table. Moreover, he indulged in his passion for horse racing and owned a notable racehorse named Telly's Pop a testament to his deep involvement in the equestrian world. Tragically, in 1988, Telly Savalas received devastating news. He was diagnosed with bladder cancer. By the time he was admitted to Huntington Memorial Hospital for treatment, the cancer had already metastasized, spread into his hip bones and pancreas. Medical professionals recommended a radical cystectomy, a surgical procedure that involves removing the bladder and other neighboring organs that may potentially harbor cancer cells, such as the prostate. However, Savalas chose not to pursue this option. Regrettably, on January 22, 1994, Telly Savalas succumbed to complications arising from bladder and prostate cancer. He passed away at the age of 72, leaving behind a remarkable legacy. His final resting place is in Los Angeles, California, where he was laid to rest. Farewell to the legendary actor, Telly Savalas. His talent, charisma, and contributions to the world of entertainment will forever be remembered and cherished. And cherished.